Hey everybody, this is Willie. Welcome back to our Minecraft OG Let's Play series. If you don't already know, this is a series where we update Minecraft with each episode. We're currently in beta 1.4 and we plan to go to beta 1.7.3. So basically it. Let's hop into it. Hope you enjoy. After this little building session, we decided to all meet up at our original starter base to go over all of the new features that were released in the 1.4 beta update. Hey, bro. Well, is that Gabe? All right, Daddy's here. <laughs> Daddy's arrived, boys. Daddy's back with the milk. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh no, Gabe, go set your spawn Whoa, up there. Go set your spawn that quick. I just Why realized something. Shoot like Wait, that? guys, both don't have a durability. Oh yeah, they're invisible. What the hell? Okay, guys, everyone group around. We're going to have beta 1.4. Why does my bow make that noise? <laughs> I guess I haven't shot a bow yet. Okay, one sec, guys. I want to go grab my potatoes and then I'll be ready. Please don't kill me. Okay. <sighs> I'm ready, guys. William, what the finally. hell? Who pooped all? Bro, it was like three minutes. <laughs> what do you mean, finally? <laughs> Dude, it took forever. Bro, I, was, I literally was watching them. Like, it was like three minutes. Bro, you gotta calm down, bro. You gotta calm down. <laughs> Get this poop off of me! <laughs> you gotta chill out, dude. Oh my god. Why is there so much dirt everywhere? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Watch that side, watch that side. Bro just eating his potato in real life, just not even trying to escape. Wait, wait, Gabe! Ah! Hey guys. Gabe. I wasn't watching my side. No, you Ooh. walked up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Wayne, clean up your mess. <laughs> oh, my mess. Ah! You know, I don't even what need armor anymore. What are you guys anymore. doing in here? Take oh that away. Oh my god, the pants on the ground and everything. <laughs> like, oh, you guys gotta chill off. out. Alright. Your pants so what did the, up what did the update? Uh, what did the update add, bro? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Ready? This version of Minecraft adds cocoa beans can now be found Wolves. in dungeon chests. Yes! No, 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 again. Oh yeah, going up the list. And with Wolves. cocoa beans, you can now make cookies. That's what cookies I are a new about. food source. Woo! Now, Woo! now, now, now. All right, guys. Brown sheep and pink sheep can now spawn naturally. Pink yes! sheep? I found a brown one earlier. And, and, yeah. wolves have been added. Yo! Yeah, don't Let's mind. Let's go! And that's it. Woo! That's everything added for the update. Four new things. Hey. <laughs> now that we're all caught up on what's in the new oh. update, we decided to go back to our bases and work on our personal projects. I live pretty far away, so what I had in mind for this episode was to build a railroad system that goes from my personal base to our shared base. Because the shared bases that spawn, and anytime I die when I, and my bed gets destroyed, I have to walk basically a thousand blocks back to my base, which is kind of stressful if you have a bunch of items laying around the ground. This also just seemed like a good opportunity to take advantage of something that isn't really used much in modern Minecraft. You don't want to build railroad systems in modern Minecraft because it's so inefficient compared to other ways you could travel, such as through the nether, on boat ice roads, 
or just using elytras. It kind of sucks because I really like the idea of train systems in Minecraft. I remember back in, in like 2012 when I built my first uh, railroad system inspired by Coast Quest. It was really neat. It was really cool having uh, a railroad system and a central train station that connected to all your different bases throughout the world. And minecarts went a lot faster back in the day, so it was efficient and it was really, it felt really rewarding because a lot of work went into making it and it was a really useful thing to have in the world. So this was just a great opportunity to kind of build something that was fun, that actually will have some use uh, for a little bit until railroads kind of become obsolete. All right, guys, I'm going to start building my bridge a thousand blocks to the main base. Here we go. God. Cue the time lapse. I can't place the block. I don't have access to that side of the block. Okay, whatever. Shortly after starting this project, I've come across the weirdest bug I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if anyone else has come across this. Essentially, it permits me from placing a block on one side of a block. I could place it on any other side of the block, but not that one side of the block. And this happens multiple times trying to build this bridge. My only solution was to just continue to build a bridge in the direction that was forced me to go until I hit a mountain, and then I would change directions these all of a sudden it'll start working if I hit a mountain. Very weird. Unfortunately, it made the bridge a lot longer than it needed to be and added probably another thousand rails or so that had to be a part of this bridge. I don't know if you guys have a solution. Um, I've never seen it before. I even tried to research it. Nothing really came up. And even after this recording, there's parts of this bridge that I just can't build a certain site on. It was, it was very weird. Okay, I fixed it somehow. Still can't place right. Whoa! I give. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what is happening out here? Is this your bridge? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I got it. Doesn't work for you. Gosh darn it. Does it? Why? <laughs> that's very strange. You better be careful there, buddy. That's my property. Oh, where? Over in that direction. Uh, I'm only taking a left here. Any moment. Once the game lets me. <laughs> After the encounter with Gabe out in the middle of nowhere, not really sure what he was doing out there, probably nothing suspicious, I finished a cobblestone bridge to the main base. It took a lot of cobble, obviously. I had to go back and forth a few times. I even ran out of cobble and ended up trading some mossy cobblestone for some regular cobblestone just so I could finish the build. Terrible deal, but I was desperate. I didn't want to go strip mining again for cobble. With the bridge now complete, I make my way back to the base. I light up the bridge on the way to prevent mobs from spawning on it. Now something weird happens as I get back, and this is actually a clip in the middle of the bridge building session. I make my way back to grab more cobblestone. Something really weird happens. I assume it was a bug at the time. I'll show it right here. <clears throat> Whoa, oh, a pink sheep. Oh my God. It's in my base. <laughs> what? what? Look at this guy. I've never seen a pink sheep before. we will just be chilling here, crazy. What? What, what is this? <laughs> what happened? What is this? What is what? What's this? <laughs> what? Someone vandalized my property. What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm looking at. There's missing chests and like my wooden pillar is gone and there's holes in the ground. Bro said vandalized my property. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so yeah, experiencing a lot of new things this episode. No idea what happened here. It looks like a creeper blast, but there was no one around for a creeper to go boom. Um, they don't just spontaneously combust, although that would be really funny if they did. Uh, that would make someone should make that into a mod. But we're not playing modded Minecraft. No clue what happened here. I heard something else. Like what? Locks breaking. What is going on? Bro, there's a ghost in my house. You just heard logs breaking in your house right now? I heard blocks breaking. Bro. Bro, why are there so many animals around my house? I'm surrounded by like 30 animals. That's probably what you were hearing. No, no, this was like, like, bloop, bloop, like, it was like two things, bro. It was like, don't, don't. Like what? Bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's in my walls. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a ghost in your walls, dude. I just want to go to bed. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep in my Minecraft bed. At this point, I figured I was either going crazy or I was haunted. Either way, I kind of stopped caring because I didn't really lose anything in the process. There was only one chest that had stuff in it and it was still there. So I just grabbed my cobble, went back, finished the bridge, and I just kind of accepted my fate. On my way back from completing the bridge, there was even missing blocks. 
again. So I just thought the game was broken, basically. I've already seen weird things of like chunks reloading or like resetting. So I just figured I was a victim of a victim of uh, poorly coded beta Minecraft. There's some weird bugs in this Minecraft. I'm now I'm like, nervous that my base is going to start having problems. Like stuff is just disappearing. <laughs> now it was finally time to wrap up this project and place all the rails. I grabbed my iron, I smelt it, build all my rails and start placing them. That would be nice. Uh, I love you. I actually really like bricks. <laughs> Iron. Hello. Goodbye. My guy has gone. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It's almost bleeding. took my iron. <laughs> so random. I just mined that block and pickaxed you in the nose. Jesus, dude. Ooh, diamonds. What? <laughs> You're fucked up for that, bro. Oh. Dig, 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 dig. I build a city of oh, big, 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 big. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I shoot my arrows in the air sometimes. Hey, hey, oh. So for a while, I just go caving, collecting iron. It's been quite a while doing this. And on my way back, I actually come across something I have not seen yet. Oh, I took a wrong turn. I found a bridge and a pretty nice looking one, too. I just realized something. Gravel beaches are a thing. Like what? Yeah, that's cringe. Like this is just a beach of gravel. So I follow the torches to find something I did not expect to see up over this hill. Someone going up. Whoa! What? Did you find my base? I did. What are you doing there? I, uh, I mean, I was making my way back. I just kind of took a wrong turn. What do you think? It's very cool. There's a giant cloud theory, but it looks neat. Hey, you're in my house? Admiring your work, you know? Damn, Gabe. Look at this. You like it? Yeah. I miss being able to build like this. I'm very like, this is archaic. cool. I this wish is I like, could build as good as you. Well, it's not even like... Like, this is like cool. This is like... It's organic and dynamic. Which... You, bro. I was like way better at that in older versions of Minecraft. But yeah, like my bases nowadays right now, like they're really like structured and organized. Like it feels like something you're building in like real life, you know? Which isn't right, necessarily right. like a good thing. It's cool when like a base is like has many different paths and right, uh, exactly. many different rooms all over the place, stairways going different directions. I didn't hang around too long as I am busy trying to build this railroad system, getting it done as soon as possible. So I head back to my base to craft more rails. Alrighty, time to smelt more iron, baby. Oh, dude, I can use the bricks. I really like bricks, honestly. Like, they look nice. I love bricks. <laughs> dude, they look so good. They feel right. They feel high end. Hey guys, I'm going to sleep. I'm not. It's almost daytime. What? And there I was, looking at redstone. Redstone behind my very walls. Redstone that I did not place. Not only redstone, but there was TNT and tunnels zigzagging behind my very walls. Tunnels that I did not mind. So I investigate. Investigate further. And at the end of one of these hallways is a trail of redstone that leads to a switch. At this point, I think back to the missing blocks. Those blocks that look like a victim of a creeper blast. I think back to the noises I was hearing around my house. Everything was finally coming together. I, in fact, maybe, was not crazy the entire time. Ah! Oh! Bro! Why did you just freak out like that? <laughs> Wait, what? Is that William? What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? Now I know exactly what was going on. The entire time, it was Gabe D. Gabe D was behind everything. He infiltrated my base, was hiding behind my walls, and was blowing things up. This is war! Raise the gates! Build the defenses! What is going on, bro? What, are you, can't we <laughs> what are you talking about here? I'm under siege! I am under attack! Right, I'm just gonna let bro yeah. This is not Hero Brian. This is what you were doing the whole time, Gabe. Whoa! You were in my home, about? setting traps? <laughs> that was a 
<laughs> okay, you need to pause right now, bro. I was well, not doing that. that. <laughs> you were in my. This is I war. Where you live. Yes, you do. I don't even know where you live. I I found your I found your I found your your shenanigans back here. Wait, so if all this redstone? You're, you're saying that I blew up TNT in your home with redstone? Mm -hmm. Damn, that made, that kind of incriminates me. I got the redstone. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? There's a bed up here. <laughs> Sounds like someone's setting up. Bro, have you heard of redstone house. repeaters? Redstone doesn't travel this far. So you gotta have repeaters. Did go off though? I'm not answering your questions right now. Gabe D's gaslighting attempts were not working. I knew it was him. At this point, I was going to try to get my revenge. There was a chance that he was still nearby. So I went to go look for him to see if I could catch him before he could escape. In the hell. What are you finding? I'm just, serious, a, just a lot of stuff. Like what? Like more redstone. Just another redstone trail. I don't think he knew that I spotted him, so I was trying to cover up my tracks by talking about something else. Yeah. You need six sticks. Six? Sir. <laughs> I caught you red-handed. <laughs> no. I pushed my luck. I pushed my luck. Damn it, dude. I almost left. I got you. Speed. Bro. <laughs> no, I got you, William. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Dude, I had my whole rig. You found it. I did. Dude, you got so unlucky, actually, because I was like, you know what? Oh. I want some chests in this one wall. So I break the wall and there, I just find redstone back there. So unlucky. I know. I feel kind of bad. But luckily, I was still able to do it. Bro, you were doing all this shit with diamonds on you. That. That's crazy. And on that note, it comes to an end. It was nothing more than a harmless prank. Well, mostly harmless prank. I will say this has created shaky waters between our two empires. But for now, we call it truce and part ways. Give me back my diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I had 23. Give him back. I, I'm kidding, bro. I'm just messing around. Hey, everybody. This is a uh, post play session, Willie, and also post live stream because we did a live stream after those videos as well. I went ahead and finished the railroad tracks. I had to do a lot of caving sessions. It took way more rails than planned. Because I had to take alternate routes due to the bug I was experiencing, it took a lot more rails than expected to finish the project. Also, I did my math wrong. Because I was a thousand blocks away, I was like, oh, well, it takes a thousand rails, but I forget um, if you go diagonal, it's two rails. So anytime you go diagonal, it doubles the amount. So it ended up being probably like 3000 something rails <laughs> to finish this. So it took a lot of caving sessions and a lot of extra um, time to finish this project. But I am glad it's done and I'm even happier that it is done before Power Rails gets released in the next update because I got a chance to play with the old minecart system. If you don't know, the way to move minecarts back then before Power Rails were added was to basically use a bug to where if a cart moves along another rail, it will take its speed and go with it. And then this cart is part of its own loop. Once it's done doing its little boost, it goes back into the system here. To do this, you'd simply get some momentum by going into the cart. You would also have to push it and right click on it because you couldn't hold W while in it. Like if I go into this, holding W doesn't work. And also shift doesn't take you out. So you have to hit it to break it. <laughs> well, yeah, let's give it a shot here. Maybe if I stand on top of it, push and right click. There we go. And off we go. And it'll go like this forever, as long as nothing interrupts the minecart. Kind of neat to see the scenery as you're going on a minecart. Feels like you're driving through a countryside. It's really cool. Oh, there's the forest that burned down. Nothing but stumps left. The plan was to have another one of these in here. One of the um, 
cart launchers, I guess I'll call them, right here, so it would launch me in the other direction, but there's really no point in doing that, because next update, power rails are going to be in the game, and there'll be no reason to do any of that. And everything's also fixed from the encounter with uh, Gabe D, the prank he did on us. I did cover up all this, although I might explore some of it later. There are a lot of tunnels zigging, zigging and zagging around here. So uh, I commend Gabe on his uh, commitment to this because it probably took hours. But other than that, I think that is everything. So until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.